Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to finish this project up for you guys. Uh, seems to be having some problems here. So we're going to take this pro project throughout. I want you to pick up and do the same thing as I'm doing here. So we left off. This is our architectural model. And this is our level one. We had all our room areas and everything placed in level one. And so, okay. And we'll call this Legends 2. This will be our architecture file. Remember that. So let's move up to level two. Now, level two, as I asked you to do, place your rooms. So room here. Room there. Place another there, here, and one here. Uh, we'll use our room separator here. And this will be a good place to put our electrical equipment. Uh, let's do it. Uh, we can do it. Let's cancel this. Let's do this like this. Doesn't matter. Okay, then we'll go back into our room. So this will be a room, and we'll add this one as a room. Now, see the numbers continue from where we left off. So we'll call this, uh, see, bedroom one. So let's do caps, keep it consistent. Want to finish this off for you guys because we kind of falling behind a bit. This will be bedroom two. And this is remember we're in our architectural model. We're gonna go bedroom two. This will be bedroom three. Three. This is number nine. This will be call this office. I think we got, we don't have another yet, we got that one good. Let's call this our sitting room. Okay. And we'll call this bedroom for Okay. Now we have all these rooms selected. This is our architectural model. So now you got your first level done and your second level done with the areas. So we already did our schedule. So all it all updated. Okay. So that's what we got in our architecture. Now we have our window schedule and we should have picked those up. But let's go back to the level two and double check. Yes, we have our windows, so let's go look at our schedule. And those windows all picked up. There are the marks, the counts, and there are the types. So we've got that done. So let's go back to level one. That's our level one, architectural, and our level two. Now, Let's go and create a door schedule while we're here. We want to create this entire project for submission. We're not going to go into too much detail. This is just our first model. We're going to just give you a good example of how this all works. So we're going to view, schedule and quantities. Let's find doors. We can leave it as door schedule. We'll click OK. We're at fields. We have marks, I think. Yep. We'll have, um, let's go to height. Um, let's see what else we want. Let's go family. We'll go account. We'll go a level so we can divide the levels off. A filter out that we like. Uh, what else do we want to put in there? We got a height, let's go cool width. Let's get a rough height and rough width. Uh, 
let's just stick with let's just go with a regular width and let's remove as you can see we can remove these two such like this so we'll move the height up we'll move family up let's get okay okay now there's our door schedule so we have our schedules all set in place let's go to our cover sheet now what we want to do here now we want to get these architectural drawings in some kind of shape and order so let's just go here and let's go and uh, add a new sheet on the sheets we we'll add a new sheet uh, let's pick sheets so we can stick with that size up Sorry. Cancel that. We'll add a new sheet and we'll just say OK. Now, on this sheet, let's drag and drop our floor plan. And let's give this a scale of, let's make this at least quarter inch or half an inch. So we'll activate this view, change this to a quarter. That's good enough. Well, let's make it a little bigger. Let's go three eighths. Okay, now there's our floor plan. But what we want to do here, we want to do something a little different here. Let's just undo this. I always like to do this. Let's duplicate this view. Duplicate with detailing. Let's call this first floor plan. Let's go to rename. Let's click OK. We still want to keep our level one intact. Let's go ahead and duplicate the second level. Let's do it with detailing. Let's rename this to second floor plan. Let's hit OK. So now we have our first and our second floor plans. So let's go back to our sheet and let's drag and drop our first floor plan here. I think normally the first floor plan is, it depends on who you're working for. They have different, now sometimes the first floor plan goes on the bottom. So let's activate, activate this view. Let's give it a scale. Let's go see if we get the three eights in here. I think maybe we want to, let's deactivate this view and move it. I think we want to go down to a quarter of an inch. So let's activate this view. Drop this down to one quarter of an inch. Okay. That's our first floor plan. Now let's go drag and drop our second floor plan. Let's activate this view. Let's go to a quarter inch as well. So these are our two floor plans. We might even be able to go as far as placing these side by side. Yes, we can do that. Okay. Now we have those in tech. We have now we have our cover sheet. Let's rename this to floor plans. Okay, so these are our floor plans. We have our cover sheet with a 3D view on our schedules on it. Now, what we want to do next, we want to create another sheet. We'll say OK. And we'll do our elevations here. So let's go grab our east elevation. 
I think we want to change the scale as well. Sometimes elevations want to be a little larger. So let's go with 3 8 here. What's our east? And we want to go and grab our north. Now this view got cropped out real bad, so we're going to have to do some things with this uh, to fix this up. So we go into our crop views over here. We'll activate this guy. And we'll put the, the, the little pull dots uh, handles and just drag these in. Now, we didn't do this model. This is a model that we used previously that was set up, but we're going to just deal with this now. And later on, we're going to create our own. So let's activate this view. It's, it's activated already. Let's go with 3 8 if you can do that here. And there's our view. We're going to deactivate it first. Just run through this real quickly here. So we have our elevations, and I think we want to drop this down to, let's make these a quarter inch as well. So we can fit them all on one sheet. So right now we're presenting our model, our, our drawings that we worked on, but I I want you guys to finish up your, um, your plans, your electrical and what have you. Let's deactivate, let's activate, let's turn this to a quarter of an inch. Let's drag this view right here. And to move this, you can just touch this line and it'll just simply move right over here like so. Okay, you guys with me? Uh, we're doing a presentation. Or we're, we're doing a set of working drawings for presentation for what we did. Now, here, we can turn this crop off by activating this view and going down here in the view tab and just hitting this light bulb. So now we have our east, north, Next one, let's go grab our south. We have this view situation again here. So we'll activate this view. And we'll hit the crop view. And we'll grab this guy and pull it all the way over here. We'll bring him up here. We'll pull this over. Now what I want you to do, I want you to finish off your levels. Activate view. Quarter inch. Okay. And again, on the view tab, hit the light bulb to turn it off. Now, one more view. We want to grab our west. Now, I'm going to show you guys something here. We're going to settle all this. So let's just go into our west view. And we can grab these guys and just drag them over. Just drag this over like such as such because we kind of want to see these elevations in our elevation view. So, for height's sake, so we can just do this here. We can click, you already know this, just unclick this, and we should be able to go back into that elevation drawing that we have. And there they are. Select this, pull this over.
Now we want to take this guy and change the scale. Activate view. Change the scale to a quarter of an inch. Now there we have our elevation sheet. So now you have your cover sheet, your floor plans, and we want to rename this sheet to elevations. Okay. Anybody viewing this view or watching this video, if you want me to send you this file for practice, I'll be happy to do that. But anyway, now let's go open this south view up and fix these elevation markers. Wow, I don't even see them in here. I know why. See, the architect, we using what we call, we should be using shared coordinates. But we won't have to worry about that now. I think these two views are sufficient. So now we have our, our cover sheet, our floor plans, and our elevations. This is our architectural set of drawings, okay? So now let's go back to our cover sheet. Now, if you want to do this, this is very fine. You can go and place your, uh, you have your room schedule. You can add your uh, door schedule here for all the doors that we selected throughout the entire project. You can adjust this. And there's our door schedule. And we can go and add our window schedule. Okay, looks good. So this is basically our architectural model. Uh, now what we did here, I think we want to go and edit our, our window schedule because we need to add levels, I think. So let's go into our field. Let's see what happens if we add levels. I think we have two levels of windows. Just put it here. Okay, we're not picking up level two windows. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure we have windows up there. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, now let's have a look here. I think we had an issue with the windows at one point. So now, let's do this. Let's cut a section through here. We can do this as well. We didn't require, but Normally you will take a section through your building and we'll do a full building section going this direction and here's the windows. Now I think this is the problem. Now what we can do here, we can go here, we can crop this view a bit, pick these windows up. I don't see the windows. Okay, what's going on here? Let's shift this guy up and try this again. Let's do fine view. The windows, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, what about, how about that? We got the wrong windows here. So I'm sorry, whoever did this model didn't really do a good job. So let's just do this. Let's, let's see if we can see them in this direction. Okay. When we create our own model, we're going to have this problem. We had some issues with some people, and I'm very sorry, so that's why I want to go through this with you all. So let's go here and select all, select all instances. So we got those. And let's go and edit these. And let's make these casing with trim. Hit OK. So now we've got our windows here. They should all be 11s. Yep, and we should see them now. Let's go grab the section mark here. And let's just double click. Okay, there are our windows. Now, since we did a section, let's go and add another section. Let's do a full building section going in this direction. So let's go right there. Let's do a section going in that direction. Okay, looks good. So we have our two sections. And when we do sections, we always kind of want to pick up stairs. So let's look here again. 
And there's our stairs. Okay. Let's just adjust that a bit more. We'll go right to there. Okay, now, so let's add another sheet for sections. Here's our window schedule. There's still some issues with them. But uh, let's go back into our, oh, I know what the problem is. Yep, let's go back into our section view. And our sections will fall here in the project browser. Let's look at section one. I think the ones were that section. So let's look here and now what we got here we had an issue with the floor and the ceiling height. So this ceiling is at eight feet. This ceiling here is at we don't even have a ceiling here. So let's take this ceiling and move him up. Let's just measure. Let's just go in that let's go in that north elevation for this wasn't a good model for us to work with, but we're gonna we're gonna this is just a good exercise and showing us how to clean up a model. So the ceiling height is actually 12 feet. So let's go back into our level one. Or well, let's go back into our section view. This ceiling here is at eight feet. Let's move them up to eleven. So now this is gonna cause us some issues with our lights. And our other model that we created, but that's okay. Let's break this guy up to 11 feet. Let's move that up. Actually, let's drop it down to let's give a foot in there for HVAC. Let's make it 10 six. Okay. Here. Go to the second level. Let's see the second level ceiling. And do we even have a ceiling on here? Let's put tab through here. There's no ceiling here. So let's go. Architecture. Ceiling. And let's just do a sketch. Let's do a rectangular sketch. We'll go from here to here. And let's take this up to 10.6 as well. This one. Okay, now there's our ceiling. So now we have our architectural setup. We have our floor plans. Our second level and our first level, but let's since we're here, let's fix this. Whereas our first level is first, and our second level is here. You can stack these or put them in any way you want, but in this case, we can work this way since it fits. It's such a big sheet, so we got a first level and our second level, and we have our elevations. Now let's create another sheet. Let's go OK here and let's call this section. Let's rename this to section. And let's say OK. So let's go grab, drag, and drop our two wall sections, building sections here. Now, here we can make these a little bigger because we're only going to show two. And let's activate this view. And let's take this to 3 eighths of an inch. Let's drag this guy here. I'm not sure if that's going to fit now. We might have to go a quarter inch as well. Doesn't matter. This is just an exercise. Yep. Let's move our section here. And place it there. We have a section two. 
Let's bring it here. In fact, we can put these side by side, I think. Activate this view. Actually, let's see if we can do this at 3 8 The section is normally a little bigger. Activate view. There. Nope. It won't fit. I can see that now. So let's just go and make this quarter of an inch as well. So now we have our our sections done and everything. So now another thing we want to do now is see now we've got our model. We can do so many different things. So what we're going to do here now, we're going to go back to level one. Okay. Well, let's go back to our first floor plan. And let's go into our sheet drawing. Let's activate this view and let's get rid of the furniture. So let's do a right click, hide in view, category, furniture, and it all goes away. Let's go in this view as well. We didn't have any furniture on our second level, so that's just fine. Now, we like, if you want, you can have a furniture plan, but in this case, we won't. We'll do it later on. So we're going to stick with, we're going to go with what we have here. So now we have our four architectural drawings. We have our cover sheet. We have our floor plans. We have our elevations. We have our sections. But what I think we want to do here, since we have our cover sheet, and we've got our schedules here. We don't necessarily need schedules on our cover sheet. And I want to go back into level two and find out what's going on with our windows. Oh, I see what's happening with our windows. They're in the phases. So we're getting a lot of good exercises from this. We want to uh, select all these. These are set up in a phase. We went over phases. So let's uh, select all instances. And we want to make these new, we want to set these to new construction. See, these were created in the phase. Let's see if I can change these for you guys. Let's go here. Phase one. None. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go to TV. Uh, nope. Let's go to manage tab. Manage. And go to phases. We don't want any phases here. Um, phase filters. Okay. So this is what's happening here. We have these set up in phases. So let me just cancel this and see if I can just right click here. I don't want these in phases none. So we're gonna get none phase one. See what happens. These are set up in phase. So we won't we're gonna just overlook this for now. But these are not showing up because they're in a the phase. Uh, this this building was basically modified in phases. So uh, I'm seeing how I can get rid of this. I don't I want these to be None. I'll tell you what we can do. We can probably do this. These are also on the phase. Okay, so we know what's going on with the windows, so let's don't worry about it for right now. We're gonna move on. I don't want to waste time with this. So we have all of our building our drawings all set up. Okay. So now, 
I'm going to shut this guy down and then we're going to go and open our electrical drawing and continue. So this path is the architectural and we'll go into electrical. So hold on. See you in a minute. Okay, now we're at back. I have opened up our electrical section of the project. And this is our, our first level power plan. Now let's zoom this stents. Now this is what happened here. The architect's model is over here and our base drawing is over here. So all we wanna do is we wanna grab these elevations or I call them cameras and we can just make sure you grab it or we can go like this and we want to just move this guy over to here we'll grab this one and move him here this one and move him there that one Grab it and move it up to here. Okay, now we have our first floor electrical plan and it's all circuited and everything. Looks good. Now, here, our lighting for the first level. Um, Second level lighting. Now I'll go in and put these in because we didn't do that yet. But these are lights from the first level showing up. So what we'll do is we have our circuits, we have our power first floor, and now our room names. And what we'll do here, we are showing our circuits from the first level that you did, and that's all good. So what we do here is we'll go down here. We'll go to sheet and create a new sheet. We'll say OK. And we'll go and we'll drag and drop our. Oh, nope, not that one. We want to do power first. And we'll drag our first level power here. We'll activate this view. Change this to a quarter inch. You activate that view. Activate view. You want to crop this guy over here. Crop this. Crop our region. Activate it. Let's go drag this here. 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 Now this is going to be our power plan for the first floor. Okay, now normally uh, on our sheet, We want to rename this to, I would say, E101 for electrical. We'll call this power plans. Hit OK. Then we can go and grab our second level power. Did I do that one yet? Oh, I'm going to have to do that one. But we can leave it on the sheet anyway. Because this is all parametric. It'll work even from this view. So I go to my second level power. Now here we see light switches. Now we can grab all these light switches. And select all these in the view. <laughs> and we can... I don't want to hide that. I want to keep that. We can grab the light switch. Select our instances and view. We can right click it. 
high category. So all the lights are going. So now we can go in in our second level power and add receptacles here. So let's go and add receptacles. Nope, sorry. System. Let's just go with here. Let's go with the here. So duplex receptacle standard. And we just go and drag it in here. There's one there. Sorry about this model. We didn't get the proper uh, type of file. But this is, I'm just going to run through this to show you. We're going to create our own model after this and uh, it'll be much better because this is done in Facebook and this is just a model I used from a textbook from uh, one of my study guides and this wasn't a good example but anyway I'm going to cut it here and we're going to make a new model so this would be our power plan. So if I go here, activate this view, make this quarter inch. I want to crop this guy. We pull these pull handles in. Okay, but anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it here. You get the idea. This is our power. Do the circuit in the panels the same way. Then activate these and shut off the uh, boxes here. Okay, now we want to go into the next one. We create another sheet. I'm going to go OK. And this will be our lighting. So we'll take the first floor lighting plan. Oh, I'm sorry, that's power. The ceiling plan for the first floor, just to show our lighting. Okay. And then a second floor. So anyway, I'm going to cut it here. You got a good idea what's happening. I'm not going to finish these because I just realized this model was in phases and I'm sorry it didn't work out. We can drop our schedules here. Okay, so now what we have is uh, you have our electrical drawings and the prior model was our architectural. So what happens is these two sets go together. You'll have a electrical set and an architectural set. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to go into some more detail. This is just a fast run through to see how we go with this later on. Anyway, I think we're going to move back into families. Thanks for watching. And moving on, have a good one. Bye.